Hello Leo, welcome to this reading. It's going to be a 411, all you need to know about your connection. What's been going on, what you can expect, how you feel about each other, any hidden factors, insight, anything that you would want to know is going to be in this reading. Um, however, it's meant to be a general reading. So not every Leo will resonate with this reading and not everyone will resonate 100% if they do resonate with it. So take that in mind or keep that in mind. Uh, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising signs, any other signs that are significant to you. I will have a playlist for each sign linked in the description box. So if you want to check out your other placements, you can go there and see. And that's pretty much all I, um, I wanted to say. So let's just jump right in for Leo. For Leo spirit. Angels, guys. What does Leo need to know regarding love? What does Leo need to know? Regarding love. This deck is gonna have uprise and reverse. And I'm gonna be um picking pulling um the cards for this spread that I've been using for the other signs. It's been going pretty well. Um, and then I'm going to clarify it with my little clarifier deck, and those are all uprights to give us some more clarity. For Leo, what does Leo need to know regarding love? What does Leo need to know? So let's see what we have for you, Leo. Now, Leo, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. The energies could be, you know, reversed. So let's see what we get for you. So what's going on in your connection right now? King of Cups and Page of Swords. So communicating feelings, talking about feelings. Um, okay, what do we need to know about this? Any challenges, insight? The hangman and the ten of wands reverse okay so someone being a little bit stuck i feel like someone had something to say for a long time and it's just now that they're saying it How do you feel about this person? Death reverse, Scorpio energy, and four of swords reverse. Okay, so I feel like you want things to move along. I don't think you want things to end or change. Um, I think you're resisting to, you know, you don't want to lose this person, not really. Maybe you feel a bit restless with the way things are going. Um, you want something to happen here. Some action, some communication. How do they feel about you? Three of Pentacles, the world. So they want to work on things, this person. They want a new beginning with you, or at least to try. I'm going to clarify a lot of these, but this is what I'm seeing so far. Where's all of this headed? Knight of Wands, reverse. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, reverse. Yikes. So I feel like someone's not going to be able to put in the effort they want to do or go after what they want to go after here. Uh, we'll have to see why that is. Can we get some um, what, hidden factors here? Temperance reverse. Okay, so something's not resolved. Anything else? Two cups. Okay. So I feel like this is a strong connection. I don't think the connection is the problem. I think there's just something is still needing more time, more effort, more energy in order to become resolved or have everything be balanced and, and, and have harmony. We'll have to figure out what the delay is because there's definitely a delay here. Why is everything happening? The Empress Reverse. So the Empress Reverse is a card about unable, like someone that's unable to grow, to manifest. Um, the, the seeds were planted in the wrong place or someone didn't really something didn't really work out a harvest didn't really work out or someone wasn't able to grow or create or there's a delay here we'll have to see the emperor's reverse could also be someone that is like a feminine energy that's not happy uh, a bit controlling they can be as well so let's clarify these energies and get some insight here Not a lot of major arcanas in this spread. Very interesting. What do we need to know for Leo spirit? Any clarity, insight that you can give us for these energies for Leo? Well, let's start with this Empress Reverse. Because this is why, this is the root, the foundation, why everything is happening. 
Why is the Emperor's reverse? Ace of Cups. Why is the Emperor's reverse? Why is the Empress reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. So I see a lot of potential here with the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So what happened? Tell me about the Empress reverse. What else do we need to know about the Empress reverse? Wow, a tower moment. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Fear, Anxiety, Stress. So either someone's scared of this tower or this Empress caused a tower because they were so upset. What is going on here? Now this is what's going on in your connection. So you're both here, Leo, you and your person. So take it as it resonates, you know, where the energies fall here. What's going on with this tower? What is this tower? This could be a tower that happened in an otherwise happy, stable connection. What is this tower about? Ten of Wands. So didn't we have Ten of Wands here? Yeah, Ten of Wands over here. Another Ten. I feel like this was already like coming, like a long time coming. This could have been... Um, like a, like a shocking reveal or shocking event, something unexpected that affected a connection here. But I'm not sure if this is a connection between you and this person, Leo, or if this Empress is someone else. We'll see when I keep clarifying here. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Someone here has something to say or is admiring someone, like keeping tabs on someone that they care about. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Ooh, I got two. Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Interesting, I feel like someone's wondering like what to say, um, the future of a conversation. Will this be a good conversation? Will this be, a, is this a good idea? Someone could be confused, needs clarity here. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Why is the King of Cups and the Page of Swords here? Temperance, again, okay, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like someone wants to talk to bring back balance, to bring back harmony, because I don't think that's happening right now. Or I don't think that, I think that's still in the works. I feel like someone's not sure if, if, if a problem will be resolved, if there will be a fix to, all, to everything. Someone's having doubts about that, I feel. Probably because of this hangman and this ten of wands. Probably because things have been going really slow. Or someone is still stuck somewhere and isn't taking action. Tell me about the hangman and the ten of wands reverse. Wow, ten of swords. Tell me about the hangman and the ten of wands reverse. Some of you, this was a separation between you and this person. This could have happened in the past. Because I have the wheel of fortune here. Or this is some uh, something that someone is experiencing right now, like with another partner, or you know, like if there's a third party. I feel like someone has been stuck, either due to fear or due to something, because I have here the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, the Hangman, Judgment. Interesting. So this position is like challenges or insight on the situation. So this is a situation what's going on right now and this is kind of like what's affecting the situation, right? Um, <clears throat> I feel like someone was really slow in dropping a burden or, or ending something that should have been ended a long time ago. 
I feel like someone is the wake up, you know, the realization, the awakening was a bit slow. I feel like the wheel is here to help someone see something. So let's look into your energies here about how you feel about each other, what your energies are. Tell me more for Leo and their person spirit. Feel free to flip these energies, Leo, if they resonate more. Tell me about Leo's energies in this connection, Spirit. What are Leo's energies in this connection? Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. So you might have separated from this person already, or this is a separation going on between you. Tell me about Leo's person. Restoring balance. Yeah, what's this? Sweet dreams. So someone's hoping here to restore balance your person. That's why the Temperance card is here. Here's the star. Interesting. Um, the Seven of Swords after that. This person, um, maybe they made a mistake. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why they would be the ones to restore balance. And I think it's probably because this was partly their fault. Um, because I think they want a new beginning for sure. I think you were resistant to this being completely over. Tell me about death reverse. Why is death reverse? Why is death reverse? Nine of Cups, yeah. Uh, tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like some of you here, you don't really trust this person or, or your trust was... Your trust in this person has been shaken. Uh, maybe you're wary of this person's intentions. You're not sure what they're, you know, what they're doing, um, or you've been hanging on to the possibility of having something with this person. Um, maybe reuniting. I have the death card here at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy. So I feel like even though something ended, you're kind of still waiting for an offer up from this person. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. What is this Three of Pentacles? Why is the Three of Pentacles down here? What's this about? Five of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles down here? King of Pentacles. Well, the King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles are complete opposites. Completely opposite energies. So this is someone that's appearing to be okay. Or perhaps they're just like married because of finances. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the Three of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. Yikes. I think there was someone else um, or this person made a mistake and now they're stuck. There's the hangman at the bottom of the deck here. You find it very fascinating. And I think it's because they wanted to appear to be this king of pentacles or perhaps they thought that's what they were going to get uh they were going to end up you know happy successful secure but i think they ended up being a five of pentacles because i think they made a mistake tell me about the world tell me about the world <laughs> clarify by the world spirit why is the world here what can you tell me about the world? The lovers. Yeah, this person wants um, wants to try again with you. Ten of Cups at the bottom there. Gemini energy. But for some reason, this isn't moving along, uh, Leo. And I don't know if it's because of this Empress reverse. I mean, I know it's because of the Empress reverse. I guess I should, I should re restate that. 
the Empress reverse is why everything's happening. So of course, this is why. But I don't know if it's like an Empress reverse energy as in the form of a person that's upset and causing all this difficulty or if it's just the fact that something cannot grow or cannot manifest because of everything that's going on. Let's see. Why the temperance card reverse? Let's start there. Why temperance reverse? Why is everything kind of taking a while to resolve itself? Why is the temperance card reverse? The high priestess, secrets, mystery, the unknown, intuition. Why is the temperance card reverse? Seven of wands. So there's resistance here or someone is blocking uh, something like protecting something is actually what I'm getting here. Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So I feel like this is someone that's like being like almost stubborn energy I'm picking up here. Like someone's keeping something to themselves that maybe they should have already revealed or dealt with. And I think they're doing this because either there's a third party here that um, will make things difficult and so they're trying to like not rock the boat here and they're trying to be extra careful because I do have the Seven of Swords here so I have to keep this in mind. Uh, the Seven of Swords in my humble opinion <laughs> is someone who's only thinking of themselves. So I don't know I feel like if there is a third party this person is probably keeping something to themselves to protect themselves. I hope that makes sense. They're not happy while they do this though. I think they're actually blocking new opportunities with this Four of Cups. But they're probably still talking to you or they're probably making you some sort of declaration or texting you or messaging you that they're gonna make things right, that things are gonna be made right and balanced because I have Justice here at the bottom of the deck, Libra Energy. But this Page of Swords has the Seven of Cups seven of pentacles and this and the temperance card so this is all kind of coming full circle i feel like if this person is telling you this be very careful because i think you have doubts for a reason you know i think this is one of those situations where enough talking you know enough um of the observing back and forth the uh, watching each other or you know having something secret or or enough of you making promises and telling me you're going to do something because the outcome here is someone that's not doing anything or can't do something. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Death. Death again. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, Spirit? Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Can't get one more. Knight of Wands reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Three of Cups. Yeah. So this is this is what's happening. Um, the third party is a problem. Whatever the third party is, if it's another person that's a problem if it's a family member that's a problem if it's finances career addictions long distance whatever the third party is it's a problem and it has to end in order for there to be an opportunity here i think someone's trying to have it both ways it's not going to happen all they're doing is delaying the inevitable and delaying happiness or delaying this new opportunity can I get one more with the Knight of Wands reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse? I think someone already knows though. And I think the tower is here because something had to give. Like, you know, the tower sometimes arrives because it needs to. Yeah, Two of Swords. This is someone that can't make a decision. They can't make a decision, so they wait. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Or they keep someone else waiting. And I think eventually something has to happen you know 
If this is someone that's made promises to do something, eventually you're going to find out if they did it or not, right? Like that's kind of how it works. So you will find out eventually if someone was serious about what they told you. And I think this is someone that, you know, despite the fact that this is a strong connection, and despite the fact that they're already aware with the Judgment card, Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this person's already aware of what needs to happen, right? But I feel like they're still carrying this, I don't know, it's almost like they're they're thinking of themselves in some way because it's going to affect them in, in, in a negative way, perhaps. And so they're thinking about themselves. And I think that's getting them in trouble. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Leo. I hope that this resonated for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider liking, subscribing. Um, it really helps the channel grow and it's a free way of supporting the channel. Thank you to everyone that does that. Um, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.